Hello, I'd like to welcome everyone to the PartSource Executive Webinar Series. Today's presentation, Drive High Performance HTM through per, uh, Peer Collaboration, will be presented by Jeremy Negre, Director of Customer Education here at PartSource. Before we begin, I'd like to review a few housekeeping items. First, you have a control panel at the side of your screen. You can minimize and expand this panel. Second, you can submit questions using the question portion of the control panel. We will answer questions at the end of the presentation. If your question is not answered, we will respond to you individually after the event via email. Also, all registrants will receive a link to the recording after the webinar. This information will be sent to the email address with which you registered for this webinar. At PartSource, we aim to enable our clients and industry peers to collaborate whenever possible encouraging knowledge sharing and assisting each other in overcoming challenges like we've recently been experiencing with COVID-19. PartSource is committed to continuing assisting our clients and the HTM industry to best serve the healthcare needs of all of our communities. Today, I'm pleased to introduce uh, our presenter, Jeremy Negre. Jeremy is the Director of Customer Education for PartSource. As a member of the Client Solutions Team, he works closely with the implementation and enterprise account management team to ensure our customers have all the resources and information they need to leverage their PartSource Pro membership to build best-in-class HTM teams. In addition to his time at PartSource, Jeremy has spent his career developing employee, customer, and sales enablement training, including several well-known healthcare technology companies such as Highland OnBase and Steros. And now I'd like to pass it over to Jeremy to begin the webinar. Thanks, Colleen, and welcome, everybody. Uh, it's great to be here with you today. Um, and I want to start off this afternoon by really proposing a question to all of you. Um, and that is, uh, what is the value of a PartSource Pro membership? And this is something that I like to ask uh, pretty much everybody I come into contact with, whether it's my fellow peers at PartSource or some of our customers, um, to really kind of understand what they see as being important um, as part of the PartSource Pro program. And really it's a very, it's a very individual and very unique answer for everyone. For some, it's, uh, it's the cost savings that we can provide. And for others, it's the insights into data that we are able to provide. And yet for others, it's our quality ranking scores and our quality ranking module that allows them to be sure that they're getting the best value for their money. So I want to share with you really quickly, I did ask that question once to uh, uh, George Reed down at WakeMed in North Carolina. And, um, you know, he, he, his response was really interesting. And he said, you know, uh, we don't look at you as just another vendor. You're part of our technology stack. You are a strategic partner of, of ours. And that really stuck with me, right? We're not just, you know, uh, somebody, a, a faceless person on the other side of a computer or the other side of a phone providing parts. We are, we are a partner for, for WakeMed and for so many of you, a uh, key to ensuring that you are able to guarantee uptime for those clinicians and patients that you serve. So this project for the, around the parts source community that I'm gonna be discussing today really stems from that idea of being a strategic partner. Um, and helping our partner organizations build best in class HTM teams. Um, and so the mission of our customer education team and the PartSource community project is to provide our pro customers with knowledge, information, and education that they need, right? We can provide you already with the uh, products and services and data that you need to ensure that you have best in class teams. But there is that, that other pillar uh, toward building those best in class teams uh, that we haven't yet been able to serve. And that is to help you with that, uh, that informational piece to, to build your teams and to make them as effective as possible. So how are, do we plan to do this through the parts source community? One, uh, we plan to provide you with HTM industry insights, news and developments. Uh, two, we plan to provide a platform for collaboration and information sharing. One of the things that I was really struck by not too long after I joined the organization was the energy at our uh, part source leadership summit. And the fact that you know, we brought all of, uh, all of those HTM leaders into a single room and gave them the space to talk and share ideas and ask questions of one another. Um, and then at the end of the three days, 
they went back to their own hospitals and healthcare systems and, and worked to implement the things that they had learned. Uh, but then that collaboration seemed to pause there, or stop there. Uh, one of our, our goals with the Parts Source community is to keep that collaborative spirit going and that information exchange going uh, 24 seven, 365. And last but not least, uh, one of our methods is to provide professional development and training, uh, specifically on the parts source platform. So, you know, over the past several years, we've really put a lot of effort into partsource.com and developing uh, the tools that you need to have best in class HTM teams with things like visual analytics and formulary controls. Uh, one of our goals is to provide you with the education on how to use those tools, as well as for your uh, technicians and buyers to use the reporting tools and the, the buying and the notification tools in partsource.com to make sure that your teams are having the best experience possible. So I'd like to present to you the part source community. Now, maybe some of you on the webinar have already seen this. We've, we've done a couple of preview sessions and we had some some beta users and test, but we're finally uh, ready to release it into the wild. Um, and I am really excited to uh, show that off to you today during our demo. So uh, I mentioned a little bit about our mission as a customer education team, but I wanna talk to you a little bit about our goals for you, our customers, our, our trusted partners uh, with this community project. And our first goal is to help you increase the value you receive from your partnership with PartSource. So we know that uh, we are continually trying to evolve the PartSource Pro program and bring in uh, new value adds uh, and new items that, that make the, uh, the experience in the Pro program worthwhile. So we, in the past, we've done things like, you know, the Pro Guaranteed Stock program. Um, we've done uh, visual analytics. Uh, and now uh, the community as well is just another value add and benefit for our pro customers. Now we allow uh, access to the community for some of our non-pro customers as well, but there are exclusive areas that are dedicated only to our pro customers that I'll show during our demo today. Our second goal with the community project is to improve our onboarding experience for you. So when uh, we have a new uh, pro customer come on uh, to the program, our implementation team led by Joe Doze and Colin Brown uh, come on site and they do a wonderful job of rolling out the program and bringing your team up to speed on, on uh, partsource.com. Uh, but what about the folks that we aren't able to reach? Perhaps there are some folks that are working on an emergency work order or who are out on PTO. Uh, what about those folks that are hired after the program goes live? Uh, and what about new features that we roll out that maybe weren't available at the time of your implementation training? All of these are things that we consider when developing the uh, customer education portion of the community platform. And so our goal is to really improve that onboarding experience for both you as a customer, as well as your users, uh, to help ensure that there is a smooth ramp, ramp up to using partsource.com um, and that your um, ability to gain value out of the platform uh, is much, uh, is, is shortened versus uh, our, our previous implementation timeline. I talked about it earlier, but our third goal is to foster collaboration uh, between our customers. So uh, one of the key things that you'll see about the community platform is uh, our uh, social tools, our collaboration tools. Uh, we'll talk a lot about some of our discussion boards and some of our uh, um, other social programs that allow uh, users from other organizations to, uh, to communicate with one another, ask questions and share ideas. Uh, one of the things that we're really excited about, a, a future um, enhancement coming probably sometime next year, um, will be to create uh, different areas for uh, people of like roles to communicate with one another. So maybe um, there is a, a imaging engineering uh, section for the community that's dedicated simply to uh, you know, professional development and communication among imaging engineers, uh, a separate place for uh, biomed engineers, a separate place for those in the leadership track. Uh, so we're really looking for places where uh, our customers can learn from one another um, to uh, kind of keep those conversations going um, and allow us to really evolve as a community 
versus unique or separate healthcare systems. And last but not least, we were really excited about the community being a place to uh, develop thought leadership, right? To really advance the field of, of healthcare technology management. A place for, um, play, uh, for professionals to go to uh, find the latest and greatest information or um, try to get the, um, try to gain the, the experience they need to move on and uh, move up in their career. So uh, really looking forward to the community being a place for um, all HCM uh, professionals to go uh, when they have a question that they don't know how to answer um, and really turn to PartSource to be that uh, leader, the, the people you go to when, um, when you have a problem you don't know how to solve. And with that, I'm excited to unveil the uh, PartSource community platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and move away from our demo here, or from our uh, slide presentation here, and into a live software demo of the community itself. Okay, so you can see now that I am logged into partsource.com. Um, I am logged in as uh, a technician, Doug Merker. So he's kind of our, our typical biomedical technician, biomedical engineer, um, and he is uh, right now logged in. You can see he works for uh, Chatham Memorial Hospital, who is a pro account customer. Um, and Doug, uh, Chatham Memorial Hospital does already have access to the community. Um, and so that makes means that uh, Doug and all of his peers at Chatham Memorial Hospital have access to the community as well. And getting in is, is simple. Um, Doug just needs to click on the My Account menu over here in the right and drop down um, and select the Community Menu option. And he'll be automatically logged in. And you can see the community homepage comes up. Uh, up in the top, you can see we are still logged in as Doug Merker, and there's a picture of Doug right there. Um, and he, on our community uh, homepage here, uh, there's a couple different things that I'm, I'd like to point out, right? We've got um, our announcements. So the latest, uh, the latest news, uh, the newest resources will always be promoted here um, in the announcements. Uh, we have our featured content window, which if there's something uh, that's a you know, of a special interest, such as our uh, COVID-19 resources or our uh, visual analytics resources, we'll, we'll highlight those here. And then we've got our calendar down below. So if anything, if there's upcoming events, webinars, uh, things like that, we'll, they'll be highlighted here and you'll be able to click to get more information on them there. Our main navigation is done through the menu at the top. Um, you can see it's divided up into different sections. Uh, information on our partsource.com platform is under the platform menu. Uh, so we have a section on using partsource.com on our visual analytics tool, as well as our formula management tools. Information on our products and services are available under the products and services menu. Uh, so information on partsource pro or minor equipment, and we will be expanding this par uh, products and services options from now through the end of the year to, in uh, to include all of our uh, parts source uh, portfolio items, including ultrasound and probes, um, on-site service and depot repair, as well as others. The toolkits are a parts source pro exclusive area. Um, and we'll talk about th those a little bit more detail later. But our toolkits program is really designed to give our pro members uh, the tools and resources they need in their hands to um, deal with hot button issues in the HTM industry. So uh, for example, uh, we're currently we have two toolkits available in the community. The first is our uh, alternative equipment maintenance or AEM toolkit, including our AEM database, which I'll show you shortly, uh, as well as a strategic technology to planning toolkit. Now these toolkits have been put together um, in conjunction with industry experts. So our te uh, strategic technology planning toolkit uh, was uh, built in conjunction with Carol Davis Smith. Um, and it really is designed to help our customers better understand how to plan for and execute a, a large uh, uh, equipment uh, plan, such as opening a new facility. 
And our AEM toolkit, uh, we worked with uh, consultants um, Matt Baratich and Frank Painter, uh, as well as Stephen Grimes to put together the resources on establishing an AEM program for your organization, as well as that AEM database that we'll take a look at here in a few minutes. Under the HTM menu, uh, you'll find all of our industry information, including um, our HTM homepage, uh, as well as our HTM Heroes program that I'll, I'll be showing you in just a second, as well as our COVID-19 specific resources. Another um, benefit specifically for our pro customers is access to our uh, Leadership Summit uh, content from previous Leadership Summits. So uh, for example, we have videos of all the presentations from our 2019 Leadership Summit, which are, is very valuable information. If you were in attendance in 2019, uh, I'm sure you can attest to um, the quality of the info that was presented. We'll take a look at that uh, shortly during the demo. And then last but not least, our HTM Heroes program um, is accessible as well. So HTM Heroes was a, an initiative we launched uh, back in May in conjunction with HTM Week. And uh, we're really excited to provide a way for our customers and our employees to uh, recognize uh, our, those uh, HTM heroes and those organizations, organizations that are keeping healthcare running. So we know, especially this spring with the COVID pandemic, um, our HTM teams were working long hours, uh, long, very stressful hours, trying to keep um, equipment uptime running to help deal with the pandemic and flattening the curve. Um, and we just wanted to do something that helped us express our appreciation for those professionals. So we'll start our tour here with the HTM Heroes page. And what we did was uh, we used our, our social platforms, uh, including Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and asked uh, you know our, our customers and our HTM teams to send in, send in a photo of your teams working hard um, and let us uh, give you the recognition you deserve. So. Um, we took those photos and we shared them not only on our social uh, channels, but also um, here in the HTM Heroes uh, feed in the part source community. So um, you can see, uh, you know, Nicholas Greco from Baycare Health, who is the uh, BMED of the year. Uh, we recognized him. And then we've got some photos of some of our other teams, the University of Miami, uh, Banner Health, uh, who else do we have here, Renovo. Um, we posted those here and recognized them. And the great thing is that this works a lot like, uh, you know, a LinkedIn or a Facebook. So anyone can go in, anyone with community access can go in um, and, you know, leave a comment. Um, you know, thank your peers or other organizations for the work that they do. If you have a friend working for another organization, find them, leave them a little note of encouragement. Our employees will do the same. Um, and we plan to keep this running uh, for the foreseeable future to just give uh, give that space and, and help promote a little bit of positivity um, in the HTM industry. Next, I do want to show off uh, some of our COVID resources. There have been a lot of questions about this specifically um, since we have, uh, you know, we've seen spikes in several areas here in the United States in COVID infections. Um, so there's been a, a renewed interest in our, our, our COVID resources that we have available. So uh, one thing that we do have here, I'll, I'll start off by talking a little bit about our latest news. So uh, during the, the peak of the, uh, the pandemic uh, earlier this year, um, we, were, uh, we were curating the best HTM specific uh, COVID news um, from around the web from our partners, uh, you know, with, you know, 24 seven and Tech Nation um, and other organizations to, to find those news stories that are very specifically um, focused on HTM. Um, and we curated those in a single spot. So you can be confident that if you, if you went here to the latest news page, um, that you would find the best information that was relevant to you in HTM. Um, so I can go ahead and show you this. Um, and you can see it's all broken down by, by links and uh, by headline and clicking on those links will open those uh, stories um, on their native pages. Um, we, uh, once the pandemic slowed down, we stopped uh, curating those stories, but now that things are picking up, we'll, we'll start uh, collecting those again and populating that latest news uh, page for you. Um, again, I talked a lot about the social capabilities and this, the spirit of collaboration we're trying to foster with the community project. 
So um, we have our uh, discussion boards here. And we'll, you'll notice that we have these on pretty much every page, uh, definitely on every page that I'll demonstrate today. Um, and it is a way where anyone with a community account can go in and uh, ask a question, answer a question, leave a comment. Um, under COVID-19, we do have two separate forums here, a Q&A. Uh, so if you have a, a quick question that you just need an answer to, that would be the place to put it as well as more of a discussion-based forum for, for more open-ended discussions. So if we took a look maybe at our uh, discussion forum here, we would see, um, you know, here's a discussion about uh, reopening your facilities for electives, um, a discussion about deferring performance evaluation requirements for medical imaging, um, and then uh, best practices and recommendations. If we take a look at the Q&A forum, whoops. Take a look at the Q&A forum. Uh, you'll find that there's more like uh, very specific questions here on you know determining how many ventilators you may need and creating a staffing and safety plan for your team. So great places to go, ask questions, look to see what other people are talking about and really join the discussion um, on COVID-19. And like I said, we do have these discussion boards uh, on all of our pages. So you know if you have a discussion about or have a question about minor equipment, or you have a question about a uh, question about PartSource Pro or AEM, you can utilize the discussion boards on those particular pages to to access that information and join that conversation. Uh, also, in our COVID resources, we have our expert blog, um, and you can see this is communications from uh, both PartSource uh, employees who are on the front lines. Uh, as well as, you know, we have some guest entries, expert entries from, uh, for example, Matt Baratich here wrote um, a blog entry for us on preventative maintenance during COVID. Um, and go ahead and show you an example of the blog, but they're very short uh, informational pieces uh, to kind of give you the latest info uh, that we know of and get it into your hands as quickly as possible. Uh, our resources is probably the, my favorite part of this page. Um, it's probably the most exciting part. Um, we've curated again from around the web, uh, from inter our internal sources and from members of the parts source community, your peer organizations, some of the best and most impactful resources that we can. So uh, clicking through the resources page, you know, you can see we've got some parts source exclusive resources, things such as our COVID-19 top modality guide. Uh, and our ventilator parts recommended supply guide, as well as some videos uh, and some uh, product sheets and case studies put together by our in-house experts here at PartSource. We also have our community resources. So the resources that were provided by uh, other healthcare organizations, your peers in the industry, um, who have provided things like their department plan for uh, COVID-19, a, a surgeon staffing plan that you can review and download. Um, a, a sample policy and procedure on the temporary suspension of PMs. And one of our customers even uh, submitted some 3D printing design documents for um, a pole adapter that they created for a monitor so that they could place the patient monitor outside of uh, the patient's room to limit the exposure uh, to that clinician. You can download the, uh, the design documents uh, right from here. Um, and all of these community resources are de-identified for, um, for their, uh, the submitter's protection. Um, so we have, we have taken their information off, um, but uh, we, these did all come from your peer institutions. Uh, we also have a link at the top. So if you have uh, resources that you want to share, um, all you have to do is click here and you can upload those directly to us. Uh, we'll go ahead and take care of uh, removing the for you um, and getting those posted. And then last but not least, I did mention that we pulled some of the best resources from our partners around the web, um, including Amy, the Joint Commission, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, um, the Emergency Care Research Institute 24-7, Technation, and GE, uh, to really uh, bring the best info into a single place to save you time uh, so you don't have to go all over the internet uh, trying to find the best of what's out there. We've done that, that legwork for you.
Um, a couple other things here are just of note. Uh, we have a link to our HTM Heroes page that I showed you earlier, um, as well as uh, our partners at OneSource provided some uh, open documents to help our, uh, help our customers throughout the uh, pandemic. Um, so these do not require a OneSource subscription. It's separate from our uh, Partsource.com integration with OneSource. But these are, are widely available um, in its uh, technical documentation on, uh, on these two models, the Philips Respironics uh, ventilator and the Gettinga Ma uh, Maquette servo uh, unit. So uh, you can actually go ahead and uh, open those directly uh, from our page to access access those documents here. And that's again, available to uh, everyone with community access, not just uh, folks with the, the one source integration with partsource.com. All right, uh, let's head back to the main page here. And I know one thing that a lot of people have had uh, questions about and wanted to know more information about um, is our AEM database and our AEM toolkit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Um, and here we are at the homepage for our AEM toolkit. And uh, we'll start off by, by taking a look at the overview. And really we designed this particular toolkit for those customers that are just getting their feet wet with AEM. Um, so maybe they, they know they need an AEM program but they haven't started yet. Or maybe they have just started uh, putting resources together to build their AEM programs. Um, that's who this toolkit was really designed for. So uh, on the overview, you'll find uh, just some basic information about uh, how it works and how to use our resources to get started. Um, and then uh, we'll dive in, you know, like I mentioned before, we do have a dedicated discussion board uh, just for AEM that can be accessed here. And uh, as we, we outlined in the overview, the first step in building an AEM program is, is creating your policy. So under our policy section, uh, you'll find that we have a template for a basic AEM policy that you can uh, download and review and modify uh, to make your own, um, as well as again, de-identified real life examples of AEM policies from uh, your peer organizations. So these are those uh, other parts source customers that have provided their real AEM policies to us. We've stripped the identify, identifying info out um, and made those available to you. So as you are using the template to create your own policy, you can review uh, the policies of your peers here. Um, the second stage that we've identified in building an AEM program is, is creating those run to fail lists. So these are the those pieces of equipment uh, that you know is run, um, run run to fail is put on a maintenance plan. Um, we have both a master list of items that our customers have told us that they have on their run to fail lists available in both Excel and as a PDF, as well as uh, those uh, organization specific examples of uh, run to fail lists here. So um, you know you can look at two de-identified examples. This is two different healthcare organizations who have provided us um, their run to fail list. And again, we are we love it when our customers share info. If you are able to um, provide any info on your AEM program, we will gladly post it here as well, de-identified, um, as well as uh, the information in these organization specific run to fail lists is included in our master list. Um, we do have a section as well on CMMS error codes. You know, the key to any good uh, AEM program is good data. Uh, so this was something I believe that Matt Baratich specifically worked on uh, in providing a guide uh, to uh, PM related failure codes to uh, help you mine the data in your uh, CM CMS system to, um, to help you uh, build your own AEM uh, plans for your equipment. And then last but not least, the database itself. Uh, again, this is not just valuable to those folks who are starting their program, but valuable to those even with a mature AEM program, we have our database of uh, AEM plans here. So um, you know, we have a, a document template that was put together by Matt, Frank, and Steven. 
Um, so when you are creating your AEM plans, if you've done the, the research for a specific line of uh, equipment or a piece of uh, equipment, um, there is the document template that you can complete for your AEM plan for that piece of equipment. Um, and then we have our database of those plans here that have been provided to us. Again, these are uh, provided by your peer healthcare institutions. So, um, you know, we are collecting these, the database is growing, um, and we are, are always looking for new submissions to be able to provide these plans. So uh, every healthcare organization doesn't have to reinvent the wheel by, um, by creating a, a unique uh, AEM plan for a piece of equipment that, you know, another organization has already done the research on. Um, the goal is to be able to allow you to share your findings um, to save time. And with that, I'll go back to our homepage here. Um, we talked about the HTM Heroes page. We talked about our AEM toolkit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about one thing that we currently have and that is going to be getting some refinement here over the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, and that is our usingpartsource.com resources. Um, and this is really uh, my, uh, my specific area of interest and my, I guess you call it my baby here in the community. Um, and that is uh, providing our, our users, including yourselves, uh, with training on partsource.com features um, and uh, how to use our, our platform. So uh, right now we have a couple of training videos of, uh, specifically available on um, our search capabilities, uh, requesting a quote, uh, placing an order. Uh, if you have an approval process, here is uh, some training on how to, how to walk through that uh, approving an order. Um, tracking an order, so using you know some of our reporting tools that are on the site, uh, not necessarily visual analytics, that's separate, um, and some of our reporting tools as well. Um, and as you can see here, if I click on search, um, it will pull up our, our video training on search. So a great place if you've got a new employee or somebody who needs a refresher on um, how to go ahead and, and search for products in the parts source catalog. Uh, on partsource.com. Like I said, this is going to be getting a lot of refinement over the next couple of weeks. We're really going to break these down a little bit more granularly, including a, ve a couple of very specific training um, courses that include all of these information uh, aimed at different roles. Um, first of all, looking at someone who is in more of an end user role versus someone who's in more of a leadership role. Um, and then we will eventually be rolling out our uh, part source user certifications as well. So more info on those to come. And then probably last but not least, a couple of things I'm going to pull your attention to. Um, you know, our visual analytics page. Uh, you know, if you have used our visual analytics tool uh, with Dan Brenner, um, you know that it's very powerful, gives you great insights um, into your data. Um, we do, we will be enabling this discussion board uh, very soon. Um, and we do have some resources available on visual analytics and training and specifically on visual analytics will be coming, uh, coming in the very near future. Um, as well as our products and services, if we take a look at our minor equipment page, um, again, uh, we will be rolling out this discussion board shortly, uh, but we do have resources on, um, you know, some of our minor equipment offerings here, including a, a case study as to um, you know, why our uh, minor equipment offerings are and how they can help, why we have them and how they can help you. So again, those will be expanded greatly between now and the end of the year uh, to include entries on all items in the part source portfolio. And with that, I'm gonna head back to our presentation. And talk a little bit about the next step. So what's coming for the community? You know, I, I, I gave you some, some hints about what we're doing. You know, the next few months will really be focused on um, expanding content um, with, the, uh, with the goal of building those uh, platform training tools, those user training tools, um, as well as uh, expanding the access to all of our portfolio items in the community. Um, right now, we are in the process of rolling out the community to uh, all of our uh, pro customers. Um, so if you are a pro customer, you should have you and all users at your 
um, at your facility will have access to the community uh, sometime here in probably about the next two to three weeks. Um, for those use early users who have uh, have added, had beta access already, uh, you know that you required that uh, separate username and password. Uh, that will be going away uh, for our pro users. You'll be able to access the community just like I demonstrated uh, from within partsource.com. Um, for other folks, uh, if you're not a pro member um, and you'd like access to the community, um, all you need to do is go to community.partsource.com and you can request an account um, and they'll be, we'll share more information on how you'll be able to access the community there. So uh, that wide rollout again to all our pro customers uh, by mid-August. Um, second thing uh, we'll be looking to do is we'll, we'll be expanding those discussion boards. Uh, you notice that the visual analytics and the minor equipment discussion boards weren't up and running yet. Uh, we will have discussion boards on all of our pages uh, done here uh, again, probably by the mid-August timeframe. Um, we've launched our customer quick tip series. So uh, we didn't take a look at that today, but uh, our flash tip series, which provides uh, sort of that uh, two minute uh, video based lesson to answer a very specific question. Uh, we do have a, a library of those available on the using partsource.com page. I encourage you to check those out. We'll be adding to those over time. Uh, I mentioned our partsource.com platform training and our upcoming uh, end user certifications that will be going out by the end of the year. Um, and then really exp um, expanding upon uh, some of the other resources that we do have, including our HTM industry news and commentary, um, looking for, you know, again, uh, more uh, input from our expert network from folks like Matt and Carol Davis Smith, um, as well as from our in-house experts, right? So um, our vice president of quality, Gina Tweed, we are looking forward to her being a, uh, a frequent contributor to our community to talk about items related to quality. Um, and some of our suppliers. Our exclusive resources for our pro members, you know, we'll, we'll be adding additional toolkits um, and additional, um, you know, content uh, related to uh, some of our leadership summit activities. Uh, keep an eye out for those. Um, down the road, we're looking at uh, additional uh, organization and role-based differentiation. So I talked about uh, earlier in the presentation about, you know, having a, a page specifically for, uh, for different roles where they can go and communicate with one another and ask questions and, and look for resources. Um, additionally, uh, be, beyond roles, we'll be looking to do that for organizations as well. So, uh, you know, maybe uh, there is a, a specific dedicated private area for your organization where you can have a discussion board, you can post your own resources, um, you can have, you know, your custom uh, train, partsource.com training. Um, if you have a very uh, specific or unique workflow, um, your account manager uh, can work with our team to um, get, you know, very custom training for your organization created and, and placed there for you. So that will be coming uh, most likely in 2021. And with that, uh, I'd love to open it up to any uh, questions or comments or feedback that you might have. Um, our, the way to get in touch with our team is uh, community at partsource.com. Um, and again, you can check out the community at uh, community.partsource.com. So at this time, I'd like to remind everyone, you can submit a question using the question section of your control panel. We'll take as much time today as we can to answer as many questions as we can. And we'll take a moment for the questions to come through the queue. Okay, first question um, is who can access the community? Um, and this is a really good question, I think. So again, the community is gonna be open to all of our PartSource Pro members. That's every user at our PartSource Pro organizations uh, will have access to the community uh, platform. And um, we will uh, uh, also be making that available to other uh, PartSource customers upon request. Uh, what will be coming next? So I'm assuming this means in terms of content, we did cover some of those next steps, but again, the most immediate things that we'll be seeing um, coming next will be uh, those, uh, those partsource.com training resources, as well as the rollout of our um, 
other portfolio pages and the expansion of the discussion boards. Okay, that looks like it's about uh, it for questions. Again, if you have anything else that comes up, uh, please uh, let me know. Uh, you can reach out to our team at community at partsource.com. Um, and thank you all for your time today. Uh, it was really great to be here with you uh, and uh, looking forward to uh, joining, in, uh, joining in the conversation with you in the community. Thanks. Great. Thank you, Jeremy. I'd like to thank you for your time presenting and to all the attendees for sharing your time with us today. As a reminder, you'll receive a follow-up email that will include a link to this presentation recording uh, within two to three business days via the email ad address with which you registered. Um, you can always contact us at partsource.com with any questions you have about the community. At this time, the webcast is ended. Thank you for attending and have a wonderful day.